I present to you the Phidippus regius, the jumping spider of Florida, one of the most fascinating representatives of its kind. Specially designed to capture flying insects, the Phidippus regius holds a skill that seems to defy gravity itself, leaping with surgical precision toward her target. Her eyes are her greatest treasure, a set of eight gleaming orbs that allow her to perceive the world with astonishing clarity. The two frontal ones, large and forward-facing, grant her stereoscopic vision capable of calculating distances with great precision, while the lateral and rear eyes expand her field of view, alerting her to any movement around her. Thanks to this combination, the jumping spider becomes a hunter that sees far beyond what her tiny size might suggest. Despite being a predator with an insatiable appetite, the Phidippus regius surprisingly tolerates human presence, even becoming accustomed to it over time. The specimen we see on screen is still a young male jumping spider, and yet from the very moment of birth, he already possesses all the skills needed to survive. Sharp vision, swift reflexes, and an innate ability to develop hunting strategies that he will refine with experience. Unlike other spiders that often cause discomfort, this one does not evoke the same reaction in humans. And this is not only due to her large forward-facing eyes and curious behavior, but also because her legs are shorter and sturdier than most arachnids, giving her a compact, less intimidating appearance that inspires sympathy instead of fear. This one is the female Phidippus, larger than the male and with a more defined character, which not only strengthens her presence in the territory, but has also shown me that she takes the ambush technique to a higher level, combining patience, precision, and an astonishing ability to anticipate the movements of her prey. She seems to show no fear toward me as I record her, and in the same way, she never hesitates before the prey I offer. Because for her, the size of the flies poses no obstacle when the time comes to reveal her skill as a hunter. At times, she can strike down several flies in a single day, and what is remarkable is not only the number, but the precision and consistency with which she carries out every move to seize even the smallest opportunity. Both spiders have not yet reached adulthood, and if this video receives your like, I will soon prepare a new episode where we will be able to observe their courtship a unique moment that reveals the most surprising side of these tiny hunters. Pay close attention to what comes next, because after noticing that the female showed a more active behavior than the male, I decided to test an aspect that has often been discussed about these creatures, their surprising intelligence. For this, I prepared a small experiment that will allow us to discover to what extent jumping spiders are capable of making decisions and adapting to different challenges. I decided to offer her a small fly, and she immediately became attentive, watching it in full detail, as if analyzing every movement before acting. For a spider like this, it was a simple challenge. The spider seemed to watch patiently waiting for the fly to descend so she could catch it. But at the very last moment, when the insect tried to climb, she took it as an attempt to flee and lunge with precision, bringing it down without giving it any chance to escape. Catching a fly is not an easy task, since these insects have compound eyes made up of thousands of tiny lenses called omatidia, which allow them to detect the slightest movement around them and react with almost instantaneous reflexes. But what truly matters comes next, because what until now seemed like a simple challenge will turn into a far more demanding test. 
A moment in which the spider will have to prove not only her speed and precision, but also her ingenuity and decision-making ability. Wait, I just released my very first collectible insect figures and honestly, they look incredible. Click the link in the description to check them out. I really think you're gonna love them. I've put a lot of work into bringing you a little piece of the world of insect experience. Although she seems to be waving, she is actually watching her reflection in the glass. While she was eating the small fly, I offered her a larger one. The blue bottle fly Califera vomitoria, known for its metallic shine and its role in decomposition. Now the jumping spider had to decide between keeping the small prey she had already secured or risking the larger one that promised a more abundant reward. She leapt with remarkable precision toward the califora, still holding the small fly between her chelicerae. With her front legs, she restrained the larger prey's wings to keep it from escaping. And at the very last moment, she released the smaller fly to focus on injecting the bigger one. This is a sign of ingenuity within the world of spiders, because what we just witnessed is not a simple instinctive reflex, but a conscious choice. This tiny hunter has shown the ability to make a decision, releasing a prey already secured to pursue another with greater nutritional value. Such behavior is astonishing, as it reveals the capacity to evaluate, in a matter of seconds, which option benefits her the most. Something that, until recently, was thought to be exclusive to animals with far more complex nervous systems. Few people know that jumping spiders, unlike most arachnids that rely almost entirely on their webs, produce silk that they use in a very different way way. Before each jump, they attach a thin thread to their starting point, working like a safety line. This detail, almost invisible to the naked eye, acts as a lifeline that allows them to return safely if the jump fails. A strategy as simple as it is brilliant, showing just how far evolution has refined every aspect of their behavior. Despite her mesmerizing beauty and those eyes that seem to gaze at us with innocence, we must never forget that we are facing an unyielding hunter designed to live by the hunt. Within her coexist delicacy and ferocity, reminding us that in nature, the beautiful and the ruthless often walk hand in hand.